Hey everyone, welcome back onto Phoenix Energy, the YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you five tips that you can use to uh, create a successful sketch as a preparation for this brand new illustration of mine, all pink. But before that, I will ask you to open Procreate and add a new layer to this Canva. Here we go. So we are opening Procreate and I want you to... Um, add a brand new layer to uh, this page and we're gonna call this line you're gonna select the brush of your choice and uh, the color of your choice and we're gonna start to sketch the character as shown on the screen so what I like to do I like to just very uh, quickly place the line on to the canvas so as you can see uh, the lines are not really smooth, it's a very very loose um, at this point and very uh, quickly done what uh, this is aiming at, it's just to get the flow uh, or the movement of, um, of the character or of your picture so what you can see me do right here is just um, just placing the lines to give the overall uh, outlook of the character that you might recognize at some point so if you can see right now I'm just trying to think of all the little details that I will need to keep in mind for step two and three uh, once we get into the uh, coloring session and uh, again I play some elements here it's like a smoky effect for the background but you can always change your mind and you can always modify that later on in, in the process. So I have placed um, my character on the page on purpose, quite, uh, quite onto the right hand side. And uh, right now I'm more or less ready um, for the final lighting. So this is the, the, the rough sketch. And uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add uh, a new layer. We are gonna lower the opacity of the sketch layer and we're gonna create a new layer called line. For this, I'm gonna select a darker burgundy uh, color and I'm using the script brush. I will start lining on top of the sketch layer. So you can, if you want, just leave your sketch um, in full uh, opacity mode, meaning 100%, but I like to uh, lower it so I can really see what I'm working on right now for the final line. So I like the script brush as I explain very um, regularly. I like it because uh, it allows you to create different effects. Um, according to the pressure that you exercise onto the Apple Pen. So if you press harder, just uh, like here on the screen, you will have a thicker line. And for little elements and little strokes, you just like press slightly less onto it. So I will try to shape the eyes uh, and the eyelids here on the screen, the bottom part of the eyes. Again, just playing with the pressure of the Apple Pen. So I'm starting to draw the eyelashes onto the character. Um, I'm using for now a single color for uh, the lining but you will see that I will slightly modify it because uh, I'm changing my mind but this is going to be for later steps so for the eye colors so I'm trying to check what color of eyes I'm happy with so I'm going for quite a hot pink uh, flashy neon neon color here and uh, I will just go with it and see what what we have as a result. So don't forget, it's always like experimenting. You, you test and you see. So for the eyebrows, I'm uh, modifying the thickness of um, my brush and I'm selecting a, a slightly um, 
cold tone of uh, hot pink to draw the, um, the eyebrows and I like to give it really thin and gentle strokes I keep removing uh, the sketch layer from time to time just so I can see the sole uh, line layer only so I can see if I'm happy with it or if, if I need to uh, modify something I just continue with the lining process here on the character um, don't forget that it doesn't matter if you switch colors you always can uh, take the color of your choice out of the existing artwork that you are drawing you just press the screen onto the color that you want and you keep it pressed this will select the color you're pointing basically pointing at and you can work like this that's really an intuitive uh, tool on Procreate and absolutely love that so what I'm doing, I'm switching color again for the different elements of uh, the drawing. So for the hat, I'm going for a different shade of pink. Um, as I said, this drawing is going to be a full pink illustration on purpose because that's a new idea I had. And uh, I think I'm going to continue with it. It's quite cool. I'm going to dedicate each new illustration. Um, to a single color I'm gonna line the hair now and I have a question for you do you actually recognize at this point this character this is a character from Street Fighters and uh, this is probably my second favorite character if you know my YouTube channel I have um, made an illustration already of Chun Li which is my top every character this is my second one and this is Kami so Kami is blonde obviously I was really hesitating um, and thinking should I just go for the full pink edition and uh, paint her hair pink but actually I thought that it would be good just to uh, keep her blonde so for the hair so to draw the braid what you uh, can do uh, I will probably make a new video for that but uh, just try to keep in mind that uh, braids are a, a wavy kind of movement so if you try to recreate that wavy curves and lines um, you will be close enough to what will look like a braid so I'm starting with like the thicker part of the braids and I'm adding strokes just to um, signify the, the you know the the hair thread onto the braid so I keep doing that all the way down all the way down and as you can see I keep tilting the canva onto the screen which is the easiest and most comfortable way of uh, going around your illustration um, so you don't really have to you know um, twist your wrist too much to try to fit the movement so you just tilt the canva and you just keep working so your wrist will be at a comfortable angle so she has a very long braid guys so I'm still working on it as you can see just keeping that kind of wavy curvy movement of the brush onto the canva this is it we're done for the hair and we can continue onto the face so um, using so the selection selection tool and I'm back to this burgundy color I'm finishing the lining of the skin here on the neck same with the script brush which allows me to um, vary the thickness of my brush and uh, the thickness of uh, my lines and uh, I keep going so I'm selecting a slightly lighter shade of that same burgundy uh, to line her outfit which is uh, like a 
what is that actually i um, how do you call that in english this is a bodysuit yeah that's a bodysuit that's a bodysuit that if you remember kami in street fighters um is a member of the military of the army so i'm already thinking of uh, applying a camo pattern onto her outfit so I'm checking the overall line and I'm fixing little bits as you can see I was pressing on the screen onto the color I wanted to select the color when you release the pressure onto the canva your color has been selected here we go that's another example so I keep adding little lines and little details right now I got rid of the sketch layer because uh, I have the general outlook of the character already so I can just uh, continue all by myself and just work a bit more in details onto it so I'm adding the details into the ear section as you can see uh, the eyelids and uh, here we go the eyes so usually the apple of the eyes has to be black um, but because I'm sticking to my all pink um, idea I'm going for darker shades of uh, hot pink basically so the preparation process and steps are almost done having a look I'm selecting again a lighter shade of pink and I'm trying to line very slightly the lips you will see here you go I'm changing my mind so I'm getting rid of it um, you can just modify whenever you want I'm slightly modifying the shape of her mouth selecting the same color to the eyebrow I'm still with the script brush and what I'm gonna do I'm going to um, work onto the last details I'm adding a new layer now for the first step of the color but that will be the second video upcoming guys this is your preparation illustration coming from Street Fighter it's done line is ready next time we put some colors see you